I first started off by using a foundation that was just a few shades lighter than my own skin tone and I covered any exposed skin such as the face, ears, and neck. And then I went ahead with Mayron's setting powder and just set the entire makeup. For the old age makeup, what I'm doing is I'm using a Cinema Secrets old age cream stack and I'm using a shade that's just a few shades darker than my own natural skin tone in order to create all the wrinkles and contour. And I'm just doing very subtle contour to make myself look middle age. I didn't want anything too harsh to make me look like I'm very, very old. So I basically just did the backs underneath my eyes. I did very heavy manly contour, but at the same time, I didn't do anything too extreme that will make me look extremely old as well as make my nose look a little bit narrower and my chin look more prominent and manly. After that I took a dark brown cream makeup and I emphasized the backs underneath my eyes as well as draw a few wrinkles and I dab my finger over them to blend them out and make them not as harsh as they already are. And then I took a cream highlighter and I highlighted in between each wrinkle to make them stand out a little bit more. Again, with my finger, I'm basically softening down the lines a little bit more. For the fake beard, what you want to do is that you want to take an alcohol activated palette or some black eyeshadow and you want to stipple it along your jawline and the stash area. And this will basically create fake stubble. And then what you want to do is you want to take some spirit gum and you want to apply it to the skin and you have to tap this until it becomes tacky in order for it to work. And then on top you want to apply the crepe hair and um, basically you need a spatula or a pair of scissors in order to help you so that your hands and your fingers won't be like too sticky and it will be much easier to apply the crepe hair. And you must apply the crepe hair in layers in order for it to look a lot more realistic. After that, take some small scissors and start trimming down the beard. Now be very, very careful in this step. You do not want to cut yourself. Because I used two different colored crepe hair, so what I did was that I took the black from the Skin Illustrator FX palette and I colored that side of my beard to make it match the other side. And then I took some white body paint and I airbrushed it on top of the beard to make it look older. And yeah, like I'm, you know old as well as airbrush a little bit more white in my hair since the white I already had in my hair was kind of fading away and then I just drew some more wrinkles across my forehead. With a brown eyeliner pencil I'm just sketching out the shape of his suit and the shirt and I'm referencing a picture of one of the theatrical productions and the suit that I'm drawing is the suit he wears in the barricade, so the red and blue suit, which is actually one of the most popular costumes he wears in the show. Then I took some white body paint from Mayron and I started painting the shirt, but because it was turning out too streaky with a brush, I switched to an airbrush later on and that kind of like smoothed everything out a little bit more. In order to avoid the streakiness, what you want to do is that you want to take the brush and you want to do short quick strokes or you just want to use a flat artist brush and powder on top to hide all of the streaks and then move on to painting the rest of the suit. Now for the rest of the suit, I'm using Mayron body paints and I'm using red right now to fill in all those red areas on the suit and I should have been smart enough to paint the buttons first instead of the other way around but um, as you can see in here I'm doing the buttons like right after I was done filling in the red but if you're doing this just make sure that you fill in the buttons first instead of painting the rest of the suit and then the buttons because this way you can avoid mixing the colors together Then I mix black body paint with the white to make the buttons gray. I forgot to fill in a few areas in the suit so I just took the previous colors I've used before to fill in all of those areas and then I just took blue body paint and painted my torso and my arms entirely blue.
in order to create the shadows on the suit what i'm using is nyx's eyeshadow palette and i'm using a black and gray eyeshadow and i'm basically creating all of the shadows that will be casted by the suit on the shirt and then i'm taking a light brown eyeshadow mixing it with black and i'm creating all of the shadows that will be casted by the shirt on my skin After that, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm basically just drawing a shadow where the edges of the fabric and the seams would meet. And I'm also drawing a few wrinkles here and there because the outfit was looking a little bit too plain for me. And after that, I took the same black eyeshadow and I started casting shadows underneath the buttons to make them look a little bit more three-dimensional. As well as take some white body paint and draw highlights on the buttons to make them shiny and metallic looking. One thing that I do on all of my body paints is that I just take white body paint on a fine artist brush and I literally just draw a highlight on all of the edges of the cloth that I basically body paint. Some I leave harsh, some I blend out with a brush. So for this one, I'm basically taking the white body paint and I'm drawing a highlight on the red area of the suit and with a brush I'm basically just blending that out and then I'm taking some black eyeshadow because that area was just looking a little bit too plain for me and I just basically drew another seam line and continued doing the highlights and the shading in the rest of the suit. After that I took some black body paint and I drew the seam where the sleeve meets the rest of the coat as well as draw a highlight on top and blend it out using a dry brush on its own and then I'm doing little strokes with a brush to add highlights to the sleeve. After that I'm taking white body paint on a fine artist brush and I'm making all of the strings that would be tying the shirt together and after that I took some gray eyeshadow to draw all of the shadows that would be casted by the strings if they were laying on top of each other as well as the shadow that would be casted on my skin. Also I mix some white and black body paint to create like a really dark gray and I created all the holes where the strings would insert the shirt and crisscross to the other holes in order to tie the shirt together. In order to create the highlights and wrinkles in the sleeve, what I did was that I took some white body paint and I just basically did all of these lines, um, just using the white body paint by itself and then I blended those out using a brush and a little bit of water to basically soften those down and in between those lines I just used some black eyeshadow to create basically the shadow that the wrinkle would be making. So, um, yep, this is the very last step for this tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you want to follow me on any other social media, the links will be down below. So, I really hope to see you next time, and bye! Let him run.